Hey everybody, and welcome back to Dinner with Dad. Tonight, I am making one of my favorite recipes. I've made it several times and we all really love it. Mexican stuffed peppers. Yes, you heard it right. Mexican stuffed peppers. So there's four of us. So I'm gonna use four peppers, two green, a red, and a yellow. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these peppers in half. Like this. Isn't it fun sometimes to make faces? <laughs> we're going to cut them in half. What face do we have in here? <laughs> we're going to cut them in half and de-seed them. It's a little mouth. So we're going to de-seed them. We're going to cut out the stems. Anyway, um, what else should I talk about, Callie? Your apron. Oh, my apron, I forgot. Look what a dear friend and viewer sent to me as a gift. Isn't that hilarious? I love it. Read it out loud. That ain't burnt, that's flavor. Yes, I love it, thank you so much. Now don't feel like you have to send gifts. It's not the point of this little fun thing we're doing here. But if you'd like to, that'd be perfectly fine with me. I'm just kidding, no gifts. Okay. So anyway, you're gonna see me DC these and then we're going to clean them. Okay, so I have the, well, most of the seeds out of here, but then I need to wash these and I'll get whatever leftover seeds are uh, when I wash them in the sink. So here we go. All right, so once your peppers are cut, deseeded, and washed, you're gonna stick them in a nine by, it's nine by 13, I think, mm -hmm. um, pan, like this. I'm gonna mix them up because it's more fun. Ta -da. Okay, and <laughs> it doesn't matter. And then you're gonna stick these in the microwave to soften them up for five minutes. five minutes and now we're going to get started on the filling so the first thing I'm going to do on the filling is I'm going to have my cast iron spin I'll turn some heat on it and I have to do the dreaded job of cutting up an onion oops now I'm going to use I'm going to use my fancy chopper today to cut up my onion and I've got to do garlic too you're doing it? You're cutting off the hairy part? Oh my goodness, I forgot. I was just thinking I wasn't gonna do that. But oh, you did. I did. And now you're suffering See, the consequences. I know, not yet, but I probably will be. Oh, my cutting board's kinda wet, kinda moist. <laughs> oh, so this little chopper thing we have, um, I kind of forget we have it sometimes. Just like the food processor? Yeah, just like the food processor. And I could use the food processor, I guess. But I'm going to try out this because it's really fun. If you are angry or frustrated, you can really take out a lot of frustration with this. Yes. Look at that! that Perfectly is so chopped. so much easier. So much easier than using a knife. Never again. Will never again. That? I'm never using a knife again. I think I have a blister. Other than that, look at that. Wow, you saved so much time. So much time. And fretting, and, and it's not hurting my eyes. And I also need, so I, I like a lot of onion. The original recipe called for a fourth of an onion. I'm doing a whole small onion. And then I'm doing about four cloves of garlic here. Four or five or six or seven. I've got too many here. And look, I'm gonna do this too. Wow, that 
is fun and loud. It's like pressure lock. No whammies, no whammies! Stop! Remember that? You don't remember that game show, Callie? No. That was one the good old days. Okay, so I've got the skillet over here, and I'm gonna put in the onions and the garlic. That's gonna be awesome. And then uh, let me just check my phone. Da -da 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 Yes, and I'm adding my ground beef. I'm using about a pound and a half. There we go, look at that. Lovely. So we're gonna ground this stuff up. Ground, did I say ground? You did. We're gonna brown it. It's already ground, it's ground beef. We get this, the onions and the garlic and all this stuff browned. And then we'll drain it and then we'll go from there. So, we'll check back. All right, the peppers are done. The five minutes are up. Just wanna take the peppers out of the microwave. Look at that. They don't really look much different, but, but now they're a little soft and they'll, they'll cook much better in the oven. Now, the one thing about this recipe is it uses rice cauliflower. If you've never used rice cauliflower, it's a really, really cool, low-carb ingredient. Now, again, I mentioned on an earlier episode, I'm not a huge vegetable person, and I don't really even like cauliflower. Gross. But rice cauliflower is great, because it really doesn't have much of a taste, and you put it in the recipe, and it really adds thickness. Um, and I haven't even made, um, rice cauliflower like with cilantro and lime juice to eat on tacos and stuff and that's really good. But what you do is you pop this in the microwave for seven minutes. It cooks right in the bag, steams right in the bag. And that's easy enough and we're gonna add that to our hamburger mixture later. Oh hi, you're there. Hey. <laughs> the hamburger, the hamburger it no longer is pink. So. I'm gonna drain it. Do my power mitts. Time lapse. All right, we've got our ground beef, onions, garlic, all drained, and now it's time to add our other stuff. We're gonna add a whole 10 ounce can, 10, 10 ounce, <laughs> 10 ounce can of Rotel, or generic brand, juice and all. Rotel with green chilies. And then we're going to do three-fourths of a cup of beef broth. Mmm, yummy. And then our cauliflower rice we got out of the microwave. We just follow the directions on the back. And we're going to need about a half a cup of this. This is going to be interesting. You don't need the whole thing. Look at that. Ah! It is hot! <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Woo! I'm gonna have blisters. Wow, it's been out of the microwave for like three minutes. Okay, my word. Okay. So, I don't know. A little half a cup or a little bit more. Oh, you can save the rest for another recipe. Because lots of recipes call for cauliflower rice. And then finally, we add in two tablespoons of our homemade taco seasoning. You've heard me talk about this before. Um, I'll put the recipe again down in the description. Um, but yeah, this low carb taco seasoning is low carb because the kind of the seasoned packets you buy in the store has cornstarch in it. And so it can have quite a bit of carbs. I'm gonna do about one and a half, because this is pretty spicy stuff. And so we're gonna mix this up. And let this come to a boil. We're gonna cook it with the lid off so we can get some of the, these juices to cook away. 
And then after that happens, we're going to stuff our beautiful bell peppers. All right, so this is cooking away. It's taking quite a few minutes here for this to cook down. You want the liquid to cook down here in this meat, and it's taking forever, and I'm kind of bored. So let's do something fun. Look, we changed aprons. But I want to go back to my new one. Okay, let's Good. try it. Ready? One, two. The magic of television. Isn't that fun? All right. Our meat here is just about ready. And then we're going to stuff our beautiful peppers. Look at our peppers. So colorful. Reminds me of a song. Somewhere. For the rainbow. Don't you think, Callie? Yes. <laughs> Especially in your beautiful arrangement. Yeah. Yes. It's not the RG bib. We don't have every color, you know. Roy G bib. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Roy G bib. Red, orange, yellow. Oh, green followed by blue. Okay, mm. enough of this fun stuff. Okay, let's start stuffing our peppers. Here we go. So you're just going to take, you're just going to take uh, your meat stuff here, your meat stuff, and you're going to fill up these, oh my, you're going to make a mess. It's just how it is. So you know these look like big mouths, and then you're going to stuff their mouths full of this beautiful taco meat. So I've got four of us eating here. So we've got each of us have a whole pepper or you know two halves here. And then earlier today, I also have some guacamole that I made from guacamoles. I mean avocado. <laughs> I sometimes call avocados guacamoles. And I think it's hilarious. So I now call them guacamoles only, just for that reason. Oh, isn't that nice? So even if all your liquid hasn't cooked out, you just kind of try to avoid it here like this. And I'm just gonna fill these um, peppers just heaping, because it's okay. Now I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Somebody's texting me. I just licked my finger. That is against the rules. Whose rules? We're just here, who cares? I'm gonna use all this meat. I'm just determined to use it all, even if I just have to shove it in here. Because what else am I gonna do? And again, it doesn't have to be pretty. I mean, this isn't like, you're not trying to win a prize here. You're, just you're trying not to trying dinner. to be bougie. I'm trying to be bougie. I'm not trying to beat Bobby Flay or anything. I'm just trying to make dinner. With dad. With dad. And you may say, wow, that looks amazing. That's not the best part. This is the best part. Then you're going to take the biggest bag of Monterey Jack cheese you can possibly find. And you're going to put as much on here as you want. I love cheese. So you're going to take a little handful and you're going to cover each and every half pepper with a big old wad of Monterey Jack cheese. And if you think you have enough, then you add more. Because that's just how it works. Look at this bag. I'm out. Dumping it out. Open a new bag. Big bag, big deal. That's what it, is, what it says, right? Big deal. Yes. 32 ounce bag of cheese. And oh. we'll use it all on these peppers. No. <laughs> That would be something. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna cover it here. This one, this little happy bush, this little happy pepper here <laughs> needs a little bit more. If you can see the meat, then you don't have enough cheese, in my opinion. So I don't really like cheese, but I do like cheese on my Mexican peppers. 
Yes, you're weird. I don't know how you're my daughter when you don't really like cheese that much. I'm just, are. I'm just not a fan. Okay, so now you're gonna put your um, casserole dish here, full of all this stuff, right in the oven, 350 degrees. Oh, my apron's falling off. 350 degrees for 20 minutes or until the cheese browns and it gets um, nice and warm. All right, we'll check back when it's done. timer's going off and it's time for dinner. So let's take out the peppers. Oh, look at them. Oh my goodness, look at that. I say that all the time, don't I? Look at that. Yes. But they look awesome. Let me take a picture. So I made some guacamole already today, so we're gonna serve that up with a little dollop of guacamole and it's gonna be awesome. Mexican stuffed peppers, the recipe is below. Subscribe if you're on, watching on YouTube. Subscribe to our channels. You'll get these episodes sooner than when we post them on Facebook. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Have a great dinner.